G'day. In today's video, I've got an Asus F553M, and I want to replace it with 8 gig of DDR3L RAM. At this point in time, it's only got 4 gig, or I believe it's only got 4 gig, and get in there is a little bit of effort, and it also requires flipping the board over once we get inside. So it's a multi-step one. So to begin with, we need to take out all the screws that we can see. I will let you know if any of these screws are different. Just using a standard small Phillips head screwdriver. Nothing special at all. So far, these are coming out relatively easily for the age of the machine. I will predict that the four at the front towards me will be shorter than the other screws. Typically, that is the way. There we go. Yep, and they are smaller. Curious if we take out the DVD drive, whether or not there'll be more screws hidden under there. But I guess we'll find out shortly. All those out. Now, I believe the keyboard is going to come out on this one. More so than the back bottom cover coming off. Which is about typical for the age of this machine. So, here we go. Go, lift, lift. I did have to disconnect these two cables here and here. So I just lift the flap up on both and that opened it up from there. Now I'll zoom this over here. We'll have to undo a few things. Disconnect this one, lift up. Do have one dead battery and one spider crawling around in there. So from here I'll disconnect the battery. Unscrew, well, I'll unscrew the battery, give yourself a bit of room. The hard drive in here is a bit dodgy and failing, so I will replace that. Probably won't even bother going with an SSD in this one. As the, since the battery on here is completely depleted, it's not holding charge. Uh, there's a battery a model number for you playing at home. Right here. Go. Next up, hard drive out. Two, three, should push back. Oh, four over here. Go, drop that screw, push that back. Lift it up. Okay. I'm uh, not sure what we are here. I'm assuming a 512 or five, yeah, 500 gig, which actually did say that in the box. One screw, two screw, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Next up, Wi Fi card over here. There. I do want to disconnect a couple of things. Disconnect one, two, and flex cable down here. Lift that white tab up. Pull the cable back. There we go. And do have the video cable over here. This is a very tiny board. That's for sure. Better than that again. We are only running a Pentium in here. So it's not exactly a thrilling machine. So I'm assuming there's the chip there. And the, that's the, process, the fan blowing air over the chip. Okay, lift that up, pull that back. And where did I put that eight thing? Bingo, up here. Next up would be slide that in, push that down. Let's reverse it. Uh, which way are we going? That way. And then we need to put the Wi-Fi card back in, probably f almost first. Uh, lift this antenna up here. There we go, give us some more room. That should slot in. Like so. Fold it over. Try and line it back up. Try not to knock it out. Go. Now 
feed this cable back into where it came from. Let's try to. Bit here, there we go. There, under there. I think I need to push that in a bit more. There we go. There we go. Now, uh, I'm going to connect that up, but I'll just put the screws back in. One screw over here. The other ones, one over here. One over here. And one down here. That slides in there. This one slides in here. Reconnect, flip up the latch. Slide the flex connector cable in, flick down. Next up is the video connector up here. It's going to slide under and through. So the gold goes under, pull it towards you, should almost click into position, fold it down. Next up, I need to put the screw in the Wi Fi card. Over here, put the screw in there. Okay, now we're getting closer. We'll just sit the battery back in here to put the screws in it. Even though it is not going, but that's another drama right there. Uh, then again, for the hell of it, even though we don't have a working battery, I'll probably still toss a NVMe drive in here. Um, and then we're going to be CPU limited as opposed to hard drive limited. Screw. Two. Three. And four. Put them aside. I'm just going to use a very cheap Patriot Burst SSD, which for an old machine like this is going to be perfectly adequate. For a new gaming computer, probably wouldn't necessarily put it in that. If something old like this, can't hurt. The faster read write speeds help. Oh. That's especially going to help over the old drive that I believe is failing. over, put that down, slide it forward, put in four more screws, and we're nearly up to connecting up the battery, and hooking up the keyboard, which I probably won't be able to show just because it's a bit difficult with my camera angles I've got, virtually top down. Another thing to note, with the replacement of this hard drive, I will also need to be doing a fresh reinstall of Windows on it. Pretty sure this only supports up to Windows 10, being it came out Windows 8. Especially being a low-end Pentium on this one. Pentium Bay Trail almost, I believe. So, very low-end. Next up, I want to flip up latch one, latch two. Connected, 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 connected. And then I'm going to have to slide these ribbon cables in, here and here. So that one's probably go the large cable first as it is in the office up facing away from you. So it pulls towards you. And then the smaller cable is facing away from me. Which actually is a little bit harder. Should only take a minute to do. Go slid in, locked down. So you push a little blue bit in. There we go. Keyboard's connected. Up, we just got to put the screws in this. 
flick it all the way around, clickety crunch, clickety crunch, we go that over, flip that over, and then we just gotta put the screws in the back once more. Large screws go to everywhere else, small screws go to the front. So I'm gonna put these screws back in, and then from there, reinstall windows. I hope this helps you guys upgrade or replace components in your Asus F553M. I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye. Ta-ta and farewell.